Welcome to the series on shoulder exercises. This is the first in the series, exercise level one. So we're just going to use a household object like the fridge and I'm going to stand opposite the fridge holding the uh, fridge door handle. So we're face on. I'm going to turn the left hand in underneath the right shoulder and gently turn out. Okay, so the right shoulder is getting the, the exercise and uh, would be the one that we would be rehabbing. Okay. So you gently turn in, turn out. If that's comfortable, then you go on to turn a little bit further out, reach a little bit further around. But it should all be comfortable on the shoulder. Let your body go along for the ride. Notice my hips turning in. Uh, you'll, you'll feel your feet rolling uh, in and out, but keep your heels down. On the, on the ground. Okay, then we're going to move more into a side bending motion. So we're going to let the left hand flow outwards. So we're moving parallel to the wall in front or the parallel to the fridge. Again, notice how the hips swing away, in this case from the camera. So drive the the shoulder, the right shoulder, in a slightly different movement. Variation on what I just showed you would be to stand rather than square on, stand at 45 degrees to the uh, object that you're holding, but you carry on with the same movement, moving into rotation, turning in, turning out. Try variations of holding your head still or allowing your head to follow the hand movement. Do whichever of these is most comfortable for you. And a further progression or variation would be to stand at right angles and again you repeat the exercise. Turning in, turning out. Now, it, in this position, you can change your hand position by taking the hand back a little bit. You might need to step in, turn your fingers back. So now as you turn out, you'll get more stretch to the front of the shoulder. So you're getting a nice opening up of the chest as you turn out. And you'll feel your pectoral girdle opening up in the front. Uh, we can go back to this hand position and go into the side uh, movement. So you're swinging the hips out, swinging the left hand out. So remember it's the right arm that we're, right shoulder that we're working on. As you can see, as we swing out, we're getting a traction, a little bit of traction effect through the right shoulder, allowing the head of the uh, arm bone, the humerus, to drop down in its socket. Okay, so continue to drive the hip out, let the feet stay down, but um, let the, the, the feet roll. 